Fort thought Jay Butler was not. You are the voice of this community. And when I was preparing for this case, you know, I watched that interview of Marquis Square a couple more times. And I didn't catch it the first time. But last couple months or so, I caught something that Marquis Square, and it's very, sometimes it's hard to understand what he's saying because he's been raising his basketball. But he was telling Investigator Wilson about going out to the car and the gun and how Alexis is just going crazy. She's very upset. She's she's crying and he says she was scared because she's not from around here now you're talking about a young woman who's in a strange place and an agitated sweaty man with a black gun is tapping on her window she's got another guy yelling oh this man might kill us open the door <coughs> and he says she's scared because she's not from around here. as if to say you know if you're from Macon, you're, you, you know, you wouldn't be scared because we're used to this. And that struck me as being very sad. Is this a community where people should just expect to have their stuff taken by a man with a gun in your face? that will not tolerate that anymore. We will not tolerate men with guns taking our money, taking our belongings from us anymore. And we don't care in this community if you're taking it from a bank manager at SunTrust or if you're taking it the guy working the midnight shift at the convenience store, or if you're taking it from some kid working part-time at a fast food restaurant, or if you are taking it from a father and a son who sells marijuana. We are not going to take it anymore. You can't do that. Send a message that there are no more easy licks in Big County. You can't do that. Because ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to victims of violent crime, of any crime, in your community, they all matter. Or none of us do. The defendant is guilty, finally. 